Hello everyone, welcome back to the another video of Inner's Academy. Friends, from the previous videos, we have been learning about the jigs and fixtures. So, we have learned about the advantages of jigs and fixtures. We have seen a, you know, a 3D model of a box type drilling jig in our previous video. Now friends, let's understand the elements of jigs and fixtures. These elements are very, very important. It means like all of this in this particular jig, different, different elements are there. Over here, you can see this particular clamp. This clamp over here, these are nothing but the screw clamps. So these are nothing but the clamping devices that forms a jig. Also, there are certain locating devices. These are nothing but the locating pins at the bottom of this particular workpiece, which is held rigidly in this particular jig. Also, there are tool guiding and setting elements. So over here, these are the drilling bushes. These are nothing but the tool guiding elements. So all of these elements that consist a particular jig or fixture. So mainly friends, in this video, we are focusing on this locating elements, different locating elements. We will be covering the three to one locating principle, which is very important. Okay, from subject point of view and this three to one location principle, uh, we can also call it as a six point location principle. So that we are going to learn in our today's video. So friends, basically any of the workpiece. So if you imagine any of the workpiece, which is there in a space can move in different direction. Okay, it can move in either x direction or minus x direction, either y direction, minus y, z, minus z, all these directions it can move. These particular directions, we can call it as the degrees of translation. It means these are the linear, okay, linear movements. So we can call it as a degrees of translation. So if we measure that plus x minus x plus y minus y and plus z minus z this becomes total six degrees okay so this six degrees of movement of translation we can call it as also this part it can rotate about x y and z respectively in clockwise and on anti-clockwise directions so all of these consist of you know this clockwise anti-clockwise clockwise anti-clockwise clockwise anti-clockwise anti this becomes total six degrees of rotation so this particular object which is there in space can move in six different degrees of freedom that is in linear linear and six degrees of freedom which is there in rotational so total it will be having a 12 degrees of freedom so while designing a particular jig while designing a particular jig we need to restrict all of these degrees of freedom in order to machine effectively in order to you know clamp that particular workpiece very very effectively in a particular jig so let's imagine a part is there okay so three to one principle we are going to explain this particular part it is held at in a particular jig which is having a three different pins at base these three pins at a base it restricts five degrees of freedom it means it cannot move downward it re restricts one degrees of freedom over here it it cannot you know rotate you know it cannot rotate like this in x or it cannot rotate like this so total three degrees of freedom also also from the top view if we look at okay it cannot rotate in that way along with the x-axis and it cannot rotate along with the y-axis also so total over here there are five degrees of freedom so over here these three pins at the bottom restricts the five degrees of freedom also two pins at the side so the workpiece cannot move 
in this degree this direction also it cannot tilt in those any of those directions it cannot tilt okay so this restricts another three degrees of freedom another three degrees of freedom gets restricted over here and also there is one last pin which is here which restricts the backward movement okay so over here another one degrees of freedom it is there restricted so in order to you know locate a particular part in any of the jig or fixture at least nine degrees of freedom should get restricted so it means it is having total six pins that restricts nine degrees of freedom three at the bottom two at the side and one at a different side hence it is known as the three two one principle but uh, friends over here we have only restricts nine degrees of freedom but uh, as we have seen a particular uh, workpiece will have 12 degrees of freedom but if we restrict all the 12 degrees of freedom okay we cannot able to you know insert this workpiece into this particular jig so at least nine degrees of freedom gets restricted and rest of the degrees of freedom like 10 11 and 12 that needs to be free in order to make it you know easier for loading and unloading this particular workpiece into jigs and fixtures so this particular uh, it is known as the 3 to 1 principle or 6 point location principle so friends i hope you understood this 3 to 1 principle principle of location so this is how this location is very very important while designing the jigs and fixtures so friends in the next video we are going to learn about the clamping elements so till then please stay tuned with ingenious academy and please subscribe to my educational channel